Man, fuck you. Goddamn old lady just cut me off. Shit. Let's go do some fucking grocery shopping. Holy fuck. Who are you calling a cracker? That's fucking racist. It's fucking crack prices right there. Kinda of looks like my dick. That guy looks like a racist. Ghetto brand, Laura Lynn, son. Oh yeah. Adrian Ridgewell says, okay, I have a challenge for you, mate. Next video, no swearing. Now that would be so funny. Man, fuck that shit. All right, motherfuckers, you know every other goddamn thing about me, so let's check out what's in my fucking food bag. I'll try to break this down for you. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, all right? First off, breakfast. Used to be Pop-Tarts exclusively. Let's go with the ghetto-ass store brand. Maybe you go with the S'more Pop-Tart. You want some more? S'more what? Fucking killing me, Smalls. When I first started backpacking, I was exclusively oatmeal guy in the morning. I got burnt the fuck out on oatmeal. And now, since I've cut off uh, oatmeal for a good six months or so, I've had this on my last trip. I'm starting to create fucking oatmeal in the morning. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass to fucking cook. You don't have to hate this shit up. Pour some cold fucking water in there, powder, milk, whatever. Eat this shit cold. It's just as fucking good. Again, store brand bullshit. This, I usually get the variety pack. You got strawberries and cream, blueberries and cream, hot dick cream. But if you want to fancy this shit up, take out some dry fruit. I usually go with fucking raisins. This time I got fucking fancy. This is dry blueberries. Buy one, get one free. It's easy to fucking do that when you charge $4.38 for a fucking bag. These things are fucking dipped in dark chocolate. Holy goddamn shit, that sounds fucking good. Throw in your goddamn oatmeal in the morning, good to go. Moving on to goddamn lunch, I ain't stopping on the fucking trail, firing up on my goddamn stove, which is probably at the bottom of my fucking pack. Fuck all that shit. If I want to have a fucking lunch, usually I go with a wrap of some sort. Uh, Mission tortillas, these are the soft ones. Corn, don't go with that shit. That shit breaks the fucking part. Go with fucking flour, go with the good shit, good carbs. Tuna, hickory smoke is probably my favorite. I tried that jalapeno on my last trip when I was in fucking Virginia. The jalapeno is fucking good. Your asshole might burn, but it's still fucking good. I'll throw one of these suckers in a tuna. They sell this hard ass cheese in individual packets. You can get these, you can do the cheese sticks, whatever. The only problem is if it's fucking 80 goddamn degrees out, I wouldn't recommend buying these things because they go fucking soft and that is fucking gross. Another option for a wrap, if you don't like fucking tuna, get some goddamn hard salami pepperoni. I don't always eat salami, but when I do, I want a hard ass. If you want to get diabetes real fucking quick, take one of these goddamn tortillas and holy goddamn shit, throw some Nutella in that bitch. Oh, this stuff is a shit. I will fucking carry this. I don't care how much it goddamn weighs. All right, moving on to dinner. No fucking secrets here. If you guys have been watching a while, pasta side, I know this shit never gets fucking old for me. If you don't want to go the pasta side route, damn, ghetto ass mac and cheese. Again, Laura, Laura Lynn brand. Don't buy that fucking crash bullshit. It costs three fucking dollars more than this shit. And then ramen, obviously, probably a staple among all fucking backpackers. Chicken tortilla is my favorite. When I lived in Texas, they had a shit ton more options. Here in North Carolina, for whatever goddamn reason, this is the most fancy fucking ramen you can buy. Some assholes eat this crunchy. I've never fucking tried it. It sounds real fucking dumb to me, but hey, do whatever fucking works for you. Regardless of what you eat for lunch or dinner or breakfast for that fucking matter, make sure you get some fucking protein, at least two of those goddamn meals, or else at the end of the fucking trail, you're gonna look like one of those goddamn suck the fuck up marathon runners. Get some fucking protein in your body. Last option for me for dinner is usually if I'm not going pasta side, rice side, mac and cheese, ramen noodles, what the fuck ever, you also can go to the sole standby, I don't want mashed potatoes. This here is the three fucking cheese. This here is the four fucking cheese. How many fucking goddamn cheeses are you gonna put in these goddamn things? I'm running out of fucking space. All right, moving on to snacks. I basically snack all fucking day. I usually go trail mix. It's pretty fucking easy. You throw in a goddamn Ziploc bag. Here, uh... <coughs> uh God damn. This here is the Virginia Creeper Trail Trail Mix. I was just on the Virginia Creeper Trail. That's where fucking Elise side-checked me into that fucking truck almost on the goddamn road. Shout out to you, Elise. You're a fucking badass. Another option for snacks. Crackers, obviously. These are peanut butter ones. These are pretty fucking good. If you just call me a fucking cracker, that's goddamn racist. The only problem with these son of a bitches is they fucking crush her. Real easy. So you're basically snorting these by the end of the day if they're in your pack all fucking day. You're basically just chopping on and snorting this shit. But last but not least for snacks, I have to have my goddamn dark chocolate. I used, to eat, I used to eat dark chocolate all the fucking time. I'm on a fucking Snickers prom right now. I need to go to fucking rehab for these things. Not the little bite-sized bullshit. That's just a goddamn tease. Speaking of your sister, these things never get old. I wish they sold these fucking things in the peanut butter ones because those peanut butter ones are like crack fucking cocaine. 
All right, moving on to drinks now. I gotta have my fucking coffee. It's pretty much the only goddamn reason I'm carrying a stove the entire fucking Appalachian Trail. Even if I was going stoveless cooking, I need my goddamn stove just for coffee alone. I am a fucking psychopath if I don't have my goddamn coffee. Call me a goddamn hipster, I don't give a fuck. That taster's choice bullshit, fuck all that stuff. I gotta have Starbucks instant. This is the only goddamn instant coffee that's worth a damn anymore. Yeah, I used to drink black coffee like my fucking soul, but lately I'm, I don't know if I'm getting way too fucking hipster, but I gotta have fucking cream in my coffee these days. I'll probably try to weed myself off of this on the Appalachian Trail, but this is caramel, caramel macchiato. Don't fucking ask me what macchiato is. I don't know what the fuck it is. It said caramel, so it's good as fuck. Alright, motherfucker, so that's what I'm gonna put in my goddamn mouth along the Appalachian Trail. Obviously, my taste buds are gonna fucking change. I might be eating fucking bark and twigs and going all hippie bullshit. This is the base of backpacking stables right here. I'm not fucking breaking any new goddamn ground here. If you got any questions, hit them on down below. I'm Ivy Tech. This is Roscoe P. Waggletails. We'll holla at you motherfuckers later. Roscoe, you wanna eat all this shit now? Don't you fucking eyeball my Nutella, son of a bitch. Man, don't fucking judge me.